Teacher Ita taught me about Chinese instruments like pipa, erhu, and gucheng. When we were searching for the right school for our children, we wanted a cozy and nurturing environment for our children, and we recognized this in our junior schoolhouse. Here is what the earth gives us, water, oxygen, and food. This is what happens if we throw too much rubbish. Do not throw. Please recycle for our earth. Quality nurturing through a caring community. That is the value that GH Education seeks to impart to all the educators in order to develop children's minds, social skills and confidence in a safe and stimulating environment. As a subsidiary of G8 Education Australia, the Singapore Group provides broad-ranging and comprehensive educational programs for ages 2 months to 6 years through their preschool education arms, Sherry Hearts, our junior schoolhouse and Bright Juniors with over 40 centres throughout the island. Cultivating a caring community of children, parents and teachers starts at the top. G8 Education Singapore emphasizes two-way communication and actively seeks feedback from all stakeholders. Principals from each centre meet regularly with the curriculum team at the G8 Education Headquarters to feedback and exchange views on optimal approaches for the learning challenges of a class or discuss new education initiatives. As educators, we stand by our conviction in having fun and loving what we do. To strengthen our network of support and to build a strong team spirit, we organise regular bonding activities and continual professional development workshops every quarter to keep pace with the best practices in the field of early childhood. This has created an environment where our teachers feel comfortable to be themselves and let their personalities shine while spurring each other along. Educators are encouraged to contribute in crafting interactive activities to be developed in a backdrop of an engaging environment. Beyond the books, each centre promotes multi-level holistic learning through its quarterly change in theme and environment focus. Teachers help students first learn about themselves, then their families, their communities, as well as the world around them through colourful stimuli and interactive wall features. With the aim to inculcate multi-literacies for 21st century living, Sherry Hearts educators are specially trained to equip children with critical capabilities such as the ability to question, to think critically through problem-solving, managing self and emotions, relating to others in teamwork, and contributing to society with a strong sense of civic responsibility. To further complement our multi-literacies approach, a set of six character count stories produced in-house are used in the classrooms for civic social literacy. Each story, accompanied by critical literacy questions, focuses on the values we wish to impart to the children. Besides basic numeracy skills, the financial literacy element introduces money management skills to help children understand the value of money and how money works in the world, how it is earned, managed, invested and donated to help others. At our junior schoolhouse, they focus on global happenings and the diversity of different cultures. Children are immersed daily in a bilingually balanced environment with multicultural experiences that further enhance their appreciation for global diversity. Children are introduced to Asian and classical music as well as the arts. Children discuss news that categorize into helping news, happy news and sad news on a weekly basis. Sometimes children wear costumes to reenact real life happenings and teachers create larger-than-life materials to enrich children's perspectives on global issues such as environmental and climate changes, preparing them for their roles as global citizens. I learned about the buildings in Europe continent like Eiffel Tower, Big Bang and Leaning Tower of Pisa. The school encourages the parents to be involved with the children by organising workshops. Recently, we participated in a workshop where we used recycled materials to build a garbage truck with my son. I like the talking pen because it helps my son to enjoy reading and he also gains more confidence when he's reading it. Motivated by the play approach to education in Australia, Bright Junior builds our curriculum around encouraging self-discovery and exploratory learning. We adapted our curriculum for the local context, 
with the input from our team of curriculum specialists as well as teachers. Huge investment is made to provide a resourceful environment where children gather information through their senses and make hypotheses, test predictions and discuss results. Children who may need reading assistance will be able to increase their independence by having the talking pens read to them when they use it during small group sessions. Coupled with the teacher's efforts in teaching children to read, the audio output from this learning resource is also helpful in clarifying certain word pronunciations. Highly interactive and engaging games stimulate children's interest in language through theatre performance. Their performing arts program exposes children to an array of skills such as puppetry, choral speaking and dramatic expression. Diversity among children arises from differing cultural and financial backgrounds. At G8 Education, we believe in quality education and equal opportunities for every child. That's why we're jubilant that five of our Bright Junior Centres have been selected as part of the Partner Operator Scheme. This scheme supports childcare operators in keeping fees affordable so that more children can optimally benefit from our high-quality programme during their foundation years. How a child views learning and the acquisition of knowledge is important to us. We seek to provide them with caring educators and a creative environment to constantly encourage self-discovery and to build the right foundation for learning well in life. The school developed my son's individuality and personality, and school helped my son to be a good member of society. My son, who is two years old, is exposed at an early age to children of different nationalities. Whenever we go out or whenever we go overseas, he is not shy or aloof in approaching children of different races. My teacher taught me sharing is nice. 